can't really remember well, but one of these houses, I think in the middle around here. where my cousin Mary Jo used to live. Hi. <laughs> Have you been living here long? All my life. Okay, do you know the house that Mary Jo used to live in? Which, which one? This one here? Down there, sir. That's the next one there now. In the corner? No, not the corner, just that one. Number number ten. Number ten. Ten. She lived there all before she died. She lived there all her life. Grand. Thank you. Mate. Number ten. Okay. Thank you. Number ten. Thank Grand. you. So, number ten. That's where my cousin Mary Jo used to live with my uncle Tom. And my uncle Tom used to work in that cinema that I was sitting outside called the Regal. He used to let me go in there. <clears throat> give me a Granny Smith apple and a, a bottle of Coca-Cola. Fuck the Coca-Cola, but as a kid, the combination of the two used to taste so fly. And I used to be able to go in there and watch free movies and shit. The only problem was it had some fleas, and I used to have flea bites around my belly button. You know what I mean? When I was going about. Uncle Tom used to race me up this hill and uh, always used to beat me and had cataracts over his eye. It was a really, I always thought it was really strange. And Mary Jo had this boxer dog, like an ornament in her cabinet. And I begged her and begged her and begged her. And eventually she gave me this boxer dog. It had four white socks, standing in a hero pose with cropped ears. It was a wonderful looking dog. And I was obsessed with it. Mary Jo, number 10. Rest in peace. Those two people represented a lot of love to me, you know. You can always have some sort of feeling about yourself, but somebody else's point of view of you about the details of you, when they love you, really can help your construction of who you are and what your worth is, you know what I mean? And those two people were, were definitely part of my value system because the, the love and the patience they had with me and my hyperactivity was amazing. Mary Jo was a wonderful woman, man. Uncle Tom was a wonderful man. And um, they verify, they see something in you and they verify it in you through their love and their smiling faces coming at you, coming at your GoPro. <laughs> uh, something that you already know. Sometimes we can be doubtful because we go through bad experiences with other people that have been through bad experiences to try to tear you down to their level so that they don't feel alone in the misery. But we're all champions, supreme champions, because we are the ones that won the race to the egg and were born. And look at the odds. We were going against millions. Millions. We won. This hill, that old man, Uncle Tom, used to beat me up. He used to grab his double-breasted jacket like this with his work boots and race me up that hill with his one eye and beat me. And when I was younger, And I was running, Mary Jo used to laugh at me and said I had two left legs. Because when I ran far, my feet would overlap at the back. Kind of like this. Uncle Tom, you're an athlete. 